Hello and welcome to Point of View, today, we're diving into the mystery surrounding China's secret space plane launch that took place on December 14, 2023. This event has sparked intrigue worldwide, and we're here to unpack all the details. This was the 60th Chinese launch in 2023 and occurred at approximately 1410 UTC. The venue for this historic event was the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, located in the Gobi Desert. The spacecraft, known as the CSS HQ, was launched for the third time, again on top of a long march to F rocket now. Let's talk about the technology behind this launch. The CSS HQ is part of China's ambitious space plane project. Little is known about it, but clues suggest that it's related to the development of an orbital segment of a fully reusable two-stage two-orbit space transportation system. The payload fairing images that appeared online suggest that if the bumps are spare spaces for wings, CSS HQ's wingspan could be larger than the fairing's diameter, which is 4 point to meter. The objective of the mission remains shrouded in secrecy, however. Various sources have confirmed that the objectives include developing orbital reconnaissance, vehicles for military use and testing reusable spacecraft technologies, hypersonic engines, and autonomous guidance systems. The spacecraft also released an unknown object into orbit which could be a small satellite for monitoring the space plane. The official confirmation came from the Chinese state news agency Xinhua. The TERS report stated that the test spacecraft will operate in orbit for a period of time before returning to its intended landing site in China. During this period, reusable technology verification and space science experiments will be carried out as planned to provide technical support for the peaceful use of space, the report read. According to a machine translation, the gap between the spacecraft's first and second missions launching in 2020 and 2022, respectively was one year and 11 months. The third launch comes just over seven months after the spacecraft returned to Earth after its 276-day-long second mission, U.S. Space for Space Domain Awareness later catalogued the spacecraft in a 333 by 348 kilometer altitude orbit inclined by 50 degrees. Space Launch Activity Observer Jonathan McDowell estimated launch occurred at around 1412 UTC. Based on the orbital data, the space plane's manufacturer, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp, or CASC, reshared the Xinhua statement via the Chinese social media platform Weixin. The statement declared the flight a breakthrough for the Chinese space program. China has revealed no details of its experimental reusable spacecraft project. No images of any of the launches have been published. The suspected space plane is launched vertically on a long march to F, a rocket used to launch China's Shenzhou crewed missions. The launcher has a payload capacity of just over 8 metric tons to low Earth orbit. This suggests that the spacecraft could be somewhat similar in size and function to U.S. Air Force's X-37B space plane. Some of you may remember that the spacecraft completed its second mission landing after 276 days in orbit. The apparently successful mission was stated to be an important breakthrough in the countries research on reusable spacecraft technology. The project will provide a more convenient and inexpensive way to access space for the peaceful use of space in the future, according to the statement. The previous missions included deploying satellites into orbit and may have involved scientific and other experiments. The spacecraft also performed numerous small and much larger orbital maneuvers during its second flight. The third flight will likely have a different scope and seek to further test the spacecraft's capabilities. The spacecraft performed numerous small and much larger orbital maneuvers during its flight, with adjustments in recent weeks made in preparation for landing. The landing is likely to have taken place at the Lot Nur military base in Xinjiang. Information on the spacecraft's orbit suggests 
an orbital track over the facility around O to OUTC, provided the opportunity for landing. The development of reusable spacecraft technology is part of China's broader strategy to become a major spacefaring nation. Chinese President Xi Jinping has set a national goal for China to become a powerful aerospace country. She also noted the space industry to be a critical element of overall national strategy. The Chinese launch has provided more fuel to the Sino-US space competition chatter. The US started launching its reusable X-37B in 2010. It is set to launch on its seventh mission on a Falcon Heavy rocket later this month. The launch has been hit with delays in recent days. The mission will test new orbital regimes, experiment with space domain awareness technologies, and investigate radiation effects on materials provided by NASA. The Chinese and Boeing's X-37B projects may, despite opacity surrounding respective intentions and capabilities, be illustrative of the broader space situation. Industry experts say both programs are reflective of the current relationship between the US and China. Each country sees the other's secretive space plane program as a potential threat and destabilizing weapon, while insisting that their own program is important, but benign for that reason. Actions taken by both sides to reinforce their own security end up adding to the instability in the overall relationship. That's all we have for now as always. The world of space exploration continues to surprise us with its mysteries and breakthroughs. Stay tuned for more exciting updates from the final frontier. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.